All right, guys, talk about policy of misfortune. The notion that politicians are for sale is as old as politics, but it takes a very special mindset to run as a defender of the 99% while charging people as much as $50,000 to sit next to you at dinner. Well, reports that the Clintons charge uh, their $100,000 summer vacation is going to be covered by fundraisers. Uh, well, uh, you know, it's just kind of the stuff that we talk about. The greed is there and their inability to sort of connect with the working class. I mean, if she's going to promote class warfare, I don't know how you charge someone five grand or 50 grand to chill out with you on your vacation. Kate, now we know you're a Hillary fan, but honestly, why <laughs> can't the Clintons ever say no to a check? Yeah. I think it becomes hard to say no to a check, and I think this is completely out of touch, and I think that because in but is that the personification of greed? Not that I have anything against it. You know, I'm a little jealous, to be honest with you, but I'm not running on the mantle of us versus them, politics of envy, divisiveness. Yeah, I, I don't disagree. I think it looks very backwards, and it falls flat with the American public. I think it puts a bad taste in people's mouths. And but you still love her. I'd, first of all, I have never you said still it, love her. I have never said I love her. I, there's things about her that I do very much like and respect. Yes, uh, but uh, I, I do. I think it falls flat as did these dead broke comments, which she defended herself for the past month and counting against. They need to think more wisely, especially if she's planning to run, which we all so know. So President is Clinton is the wealthiest living president. I think his net worth is at like $55 million. So if anybody attempts to listen to the Clintons spiel about being poor, you're crazy. <laughs> I'll tell you why they Wait, want to collect Wait, but the second his... thing is, you have to be rich to run. Why can't we just call a spade a spade here? You need wealthy people with a load of money to run mm -hmm. for politics these days. And that's what it is. You can't be every man. I can't run. I can't afford it. No, hold on. This is what's happening. The reason why they have to take these checks is because... They have to take They have to. <laughs> you know why? Because the Clinton Foundation, in between 2007 and 2008, they were running a deficit of $40 million dollars last year Why? because they were they were spending more money than they were bringing in last year a deficit of eight million dollars so guys <laughs> when mrs clinton is crying so, poor <laughs> it's the clinton <laughs> foundation no, no, hillary's poor. campaign hillary's campaign was 25 million dollars right. and, and it was yeah, running their, their against, nonprofit is is not what she's no so it was it was competing for donations. donations the clinton foundation was competing for but he that you're not that her comments about being dead broke are not tied to the clinton foundation. I know, i'm making a joke okay. i'm making a joke so because, wait wait wait, wait. So, uh, <laughs> they can't run a foundation where people are giving them money but she wants to run our country yeah. that, 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 that's that's yeah. a bit crazy to me I mean and you know what Charles I agree I, I don't know if we agree but I don't care I am jealous too if somebody's gonna pay $50,000 to sit next to me for dinner which I'm a pretty sloppy eater good good for yeah. me you know I'll take it but you can't at the same time go out there and rail against the rich and right. say you're part of the 99% right. and do exactly that she's gonna have a tough go of this campaign Danny that's all I can yeah. tell you it's gonna be a rough one I think so and and it has been in the past too look at what happened in the last iteration you know I think a lot of people f find that to to your point Kate that things fall flat with respect mm -hmm. to what she says and what her message is because frankly she didn't get there on her own Dime. You know, she got there on, on President Clinton's dime. Right. And, you know, I think that especially for, for women, I think there's a lot of little pieces there that don't fall into place quite nicely and, and don't reflect what our values are properly. But going back to the politic issue, I think we have to take the money out of politics, out that's of the happen. lobbying. That's the whole problem, it's not right? Happen. Hey, we got happen. a good tweet for you. This is a Walter Cronkite parody account, FYI. Cronkite says, this just in, the desperately poor Clintons rent Hampson's house for 100 k for three weeks because they couldn't afford four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I like that one. You like one. that one? Yeah, well, I tell you what, though. That means uh, they couldn't get another person to fork over 50 grand and sit next to them. <laughs> hey, here's the thing, though, the disparity. 5000 to 50000 If I'm paying 50 grand. I don't want anybody paying five grand in the same room. That, I mean. So you're using the poor door thing again. That's what he, you know. And Matt makes a great point. If they're not smart enough to run a campaign, uh, a charity, and they're not smart enough to learn from Romney's mistakes, because Romney made the same mistakes right. with people. He was trying to be one of us, and he blew it. If she's not that smart, maybe she's not the right girl. Well, Romney never claimed to be part of the 99% per se. Mm -hmm. uh, he just dissed them pretty good. But, exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, they're saying, hey, I want to be your champion. Let me be the champion. Let me grab the mantle, uh, the baton from President Obama and continue this fight. Let me get the money that's due to you for some reason. A shame on America if they believe that. Yeah. Because if you sit there and you actually believe that what's coming out of her mouth, 
you need to look yourself in the mirror because there's something really wrong with you. Her right or here. anyone in Washington telling you that they're going to make it a, a fair and even playing field. I mean, we always say this. They run on one platform and things turn completely around once we elect them. Can yeah. we get these families, these entire, like, you know, families that have been engrossed in our culture and in our politics for so long, can't we just pick somebody else? I mean, aren't there enough people who are qualified? Danny, well. money. You exactly. want to take it's money, money but it's, it. But it's influence as well because, it you is. know, it's her family's influence for so many decades. And their money. But I think <laughs> Barbara Bush said it so perfectly. She says there have been so many legacy families that have been in office for so long. Like, let someone else have a chance. Exactly to Danny's point. We yeah. just need someone to, it's just a matter of but money. Who wants it's to? Jeff, 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 time, right? yeah. 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 Exactly. I got a feeling she'll be a great campaigner for Jeb. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Right.